<clears throat> with a system of star and stamp. Ultimately three points and you've got to be proud of that. Yeah, I mean, they've put us through the ringer there, haven't they, the lads? Um, geez, it was... We said before the game, look, it was it was never going to be one of those where we're going to get it down and we're going to be playing our nice, smooth, passing football. It was never going to be one of those games. And to be fair, the one thing we said at the start of the game, we're getting to the part of the season now where all that matters is three points. And it doesn't matter how it comes, it doesn't matter how it looks, it doesn't matter what happens in those 90 minutes. It's about, well, 95 minutes, because if it was a... If it was a league on 90 minutes from, from the start of the season to now, we'd be second. Um, the amount of goals we've conceded in injury time. But, yeah, to be fair, you look at what they've done. Um, two bad goals again. We just said that in there. We can't keep conceding goals like that. But they've done what we asked them to do, and that was to find a way to get three points and to do it in that manner. Yeah, puts in front. And to be down behind twice in the game and come back and win <coughs> it 3-2. Yeah. It, sh- it shows the character of players that are here. It does, but it's it's frustrating because we're stood on the sideline and you know what teams are going to do. As soon as they go up, you know how long they take to take a goal kick, you know how long they take to take a throw in, you know how long they take to take a free kick and officials don't do anything about it. It's so frustrating from our side of things sat here, but at the end of the day, they've dug in, they've they've not bit, they've they've rise to the, rose to the challenge and it, like you said, to get to get that win it was, was a real good feeling. And they had a centre centre forward playing at centre half, strong, physical, new Clayton's game, but we still find that way to. Yeah, I mean, you're looking. They've, they've got experience. His experience has been about. He knows the game. He's, he's played as a target man half his career, so he knows exactly what's going to happen when it's up there. So he knows how to play against it. And to be fair to them, they did well. Even in the first half, they kept the ball well. They, they did. They did very well. Um, we wanted our lads to be a bit more forward thinking and push on a lot more to stop that from happening, but. For whatever reason, that didn't happen. But um, yeah, they, they've got some experience. But we knew that if we kept going from all the way till the end, that we'd, we'd manage to find the way to to get the win, and that's what's happened, which is nice for us to take. Um, we changed it round at half time, made the double change. Salas Fleming coming on for a decent, well, for a half, acquitted himself really well. To think he's only seventeen years of age. Yeah, I mean, we've we've been a little bit harsh on the lads in the last few games in terms of. The subs that we've brought on and maybe not having an impact on the game what the what we know they can um, and we've said to said to Fraze and to Kerr at half time nothing to do with their performance it was just the way they wanted to go we wanted to get someone up with Clay to get Ty up there with him give Harry Lewis a run out and to be fair them two have come on and been absolutely superb they've been that young hungry legs up top that we, we thought they would be and then like I said the other change that we made and putting right in there right has come on and been magnificent but that's what we know we've got. We know we've got the squad to do that. It's not just the first 11 and then the rest of subs. We know that we've got the squad. So the last few games, I feel like the subs haven't been having the impact that we know they can. So today for them three to come on and, and change the game, to be fair. Those three have come on and changed it for us. So fair play to them to deserve it. Right, you're coming on, like you say, like a man possessed at times. I know the England and Wales rugby's on in a few minutes now. But some of the sort of challenges and tackles and blocks he was putting in in the middle of a park just... Yeah, um, look, we, we've been honest with Wrighty. It's, it's been a tough one for him because he had a long period of time where he's not played games. And we talked to him about his fitness, and he knows exactly the same, and he said the same. And we know that once he's got those games under his belt, he's a great player for us. He's a great holding midfielder. That's like His, his technique on the ball for us, it, like, as soon as he come on, he's dishing it out left, right, and centre, which is fantastic. And that's exactly what we asked for him today, and I'm really happy for him because... Yeah, he's gone through maybe two, three, four games now where he's sat and watched and not been involved, whereas now he's come on, he's had a really big part to play, which he has done all season. And it's just a case of getting him back fit, getting him back in there, and, and like I say, is, is, is a great option for us. And why is it now? Ten games left to play? Ten cup finals? Well, that's it, and like we said, now every game, all that matters is those three points. It can be ugly, it can be horrible, it can be windy, it can be bobbly, it can be... A brilliant pitch and we play great football, it's irrelevant. For us, all that matters now is the three points because over the course of the last week, we've played three games where we've been very, very good. Away at Bamber Bridge, then at home in the midweek against South Shields, then at home against Belper, and we'll come out with three points. That just shows you that now we're getting to that time where it doesn't matter how you win, you win the games as, as best you can and three points is going to be key for every game from now till the end of the season and let's see where it takes us. And Geisley next week, a couple of days on the training field. Yeah, again, another one, team in and around us, and that's a good thing with us. We know that we've got Warrington Town to play, Radcliffe to play, Geisley to play, 
So they're all teams that are up there with us. Obviously, uh, we can't both take three points, so it'll be a good, good game to go there, get three, and, and see where we're at at the end of that as well. Cheers, Stumpy. No worries. Cheers, Rob.